dungeons. Man, it feels like no matter what I do, I always have to keep coming back to this place. It's like an inescapable prison for eternal torture. But hey, today I got quite a special video. I've managed to scrape together every moment of me obtaining all the diamond heads. And of course, like most of my YouTube videos nowadays, the footage is pretty old. It's kind of scary actually. I'm getting close to 30 virus with this YouTube video and Twitch stream progression discrepancy. I promise we'll catch up though. For sure, for sure. I do want to remind you, the YouTube uploads might not be looking too hot, but I've been streaming for over 300 hours every month, daily. So if you really want more fearless content, you can always find me on Twitch. Oh, and use code fearless and check out. I do really appreciate it. And now let's begin collecting the heads. Guys, I'm an Iron Man player, and I'm going to be giving up one of the Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the stream, and I'm gonna give you a for real, for real. No cap. I'd like to commentate over the footage and give you guys a little backstory to me claiming all these heads. So, I think like every normal player, when they first start playing dungeons, their first head is usually the Necron head. I mean, it's the last floor of the dungeon. Best loot, best XP, it only makes sense. I did grow to hate this floor though, it did not treat me well at all. As some of you might know, it, my Hyperion took over 1700 runs with 1300 rerolls. This is the reason why I love and hate the game mode. Iron Man can feel oh so rewarding and also so depressing. We didn't have the RNG meter back then, so you would go to sleep feeling that you've made no progress because you're just as close to getting the drop today as you were yesterday. Nevertheless, we pushed through the grind and this is just one of the many milestones I've achieved in this floor. I need to claim the most important thing, chat. There it is, chat. Look at those stats. Wither boots, though. Three stars. Wither boots. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. One thousand completions, chat. The reason stars mattered on diamond heads is because back then you couldn't spend essence to star these. So five star diamond heads were like the most prestigious helmet to wear and had the best stats. But all my future heads were obtained after the update that changed all that. Ah, floor 5. Probably one of the most controversial floors. You know, lots of history in this one. The boss fight was tweaked like 20 different times, duping livid kills, which printed people combat XP back in the day. Believe it or not, but floor 5, if I'm not playing in a stacked party, is one of my favorite floors. The boss fight is usually the least fun part for me, and sadly, finding a decent party to play this floor nowadays is like finding a needle in a haystack this has become the learning hub for all the people entering master mode but the memories of when this was the highest master mode floor are still very fresh and they're very joyful now yeah, let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it let's claim it one star Ooh, what's it gonna be oh it is a one star oh come on man yeah, same. i got one star too oh three starred oh Oh yeah, shit! It, it Let's actually go. Doesn't matter, but... All right. Floor six. Only great memories from this one. I remember myself over preparing to complete this floor for the first time. I had my full frag, the Shadow Assassin, with a level one hundred legendary Yeti. When I entered this floor for the first time, I was almost capable of soloing it. Master mode, on the other hand, was a whole different story because I got my Hyperion only after I finished my Catacombs 50, it was a big jump in difficulty not having the extra healing. Also, this floor required you to find way better players because the boss fight had parts where the whole party would have to cooperate. Overall, I loved this floor. It's also the floor that I hit Catacombs 50 on. It's awesome. I wish I could, you know, find the M6 parties that we had back in the day. 1000, oh my God, look at that thing. 300 mil for this thing. Damn. Let's go max it. Floor 3 was a funny one. We did a little bit of tomfoolery to get faster completions of this floor. It was very boring, but trying to go for a completion world record was pretty fun. 
personally i feel like this floor is one of the worst that has way too many cutscenes. for my last run though i decided that i will solo a massive mode floor 3 run oh wait i was through <laughs> i thought i killed it i thought i threw it all right chavi claim it we claim it now right now look at that 1000 kills nothing <laughs> unlucky with no more cheese head though look at that there we go that feels so nice be done with them uh, m3s anyways we won't ever need this head ever again so we can put both of them in the museum uh. floor four kind of follows the same story of floor three but instead it was actually really fun m4 was probably one of the most fun floors doing it in a good party was faster than doing regular floor fours and it felt so rewarding everyone in the party was assigned to do a task and it was just beautiful seeing every single person do their part in the boss for the last one i also decided that i'll do a solo m4 huh. holy archers op i forgot what kind of dps machine archers holy shit no wonder I played the shit out of this class. It's fun as f Alrighty. Solo try number two. I duped! Oh, there goes the duped ball. Cheetah. You're such a cunt, you know that? You're such a little torn man. Last bow. Oh. Oh. What? Didn't shoot the spirit, but what? I got it. What? Bro, I'm forced trying to shoot the bed in the in like every way possible. I'm not losing. Oh. God damn it. Ah, uh, one more, one more, one more. Run it back, run it back again. Uh. All right, Torin, you're not. It lagged! It lagged! No! Let me go! I'm four! Let me go already, man! I've been suffering all this time! Let me be, man! Let me be! Okay. Bam! Let's claim it! Let's claim it now! Let's claim it! Let's see it! Let's see it! Damn, the diamond thorn had uh, any predictions? How many stars? What enchants? I'm predicting two stars and growth six. Oh, just missing the growth six. I almost guessed it. Not bad, not bad at all. Max it? We're not maxing it, chat. I'm sorry. But this, I'm never coming back to this floor. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm never coming back to this grind. It's gonna go like the professor head, just completely plain into the. Do something to it, please. What can I do to it, chat? What can I do to it? What if I put it in my E chest? Boom. Boom. What about that? Back to Necron head. Uh, not bad at all. I'm actually pretty happy. So for those who are curious, probably just the YouTube peoples, how many M4s did I do? I did uh, <clears throat> 175 lore 4s and uh, 825 M4s. Pretty much all of them were M4s after, like, I have no idea when was the last time i played a f4 so oh, yeah not bad um. floors one and two are the only floors i decided to not do master mode on i didn't really need the xp and it was just faster and more consistent to do normal floors i did decide to do bestiary a lot of the mobs that you meet on the lower floors you will never see on the higher floors so if you're doing you know your floor one and two completions it really makes sense to do your bestiary at the same time and dungeon bestiary is kind of fun i highly recommend it was it was a lot of fun actually Alrighty, here we go i'll probably uh, try to do it safe I'm pretty sure one one hit and I'll die. We'll take it slow. We'll take it slow. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting that uh, over here we got. Oh! 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 Bro, floor one without armor is just as impressive, right? Just as impressive. Oh, I want to see. Does it actually free? Oh, it just dies to that. <laughs> I thought I wanted to see if it actually gets uh, frozen. Uh, Alright, there we go, chat. Happy, happy, one thousand floor ones. 
Not bad at all. Give me that. All right, guesses. I'm guessing uh, three stars. Three stars, that's it. One star. Unlucky. Now, just floor two left. For our last run on floor two, I decided it would be a good idea to stoop down to party finder level and play dungeons without my monitor. Let's see how that went. Okay, we're back. All right, so we're, we're just gonna cover the monitor. Hold up. There we go. There we go. All right, there we go. We're in. Okay. We are in. Now. Start dungeon. And now. Now we literally can't see anymore. All right. 90 degrees to the right. That's 90 degrees, right? Like this. Like ten, nine blocks. 10, 10. All right. It's about a five. I'm, I hit a wall. Oh yeah, door, open door. Oh my god, we're too good, Chavit. We're too good. You're in? Okay, okay, we're in fairy room. Did I open it? Nah, it's too easy though. What now? W. Ah, <laughs> there it is. I got the key. I got it. I got it. Okay. We did it, chat. Okay. That's the healer, right? Are we done? Are we done? Hey, we done! <laughs> Yo! Let's go! Wait, are we actually done? Hey! <laughs> Yo! Let's go! How long? 24 minutes! W. 24 minute run, baby. Let's go. <laughs> it actually worked. It actually worked. I'm, I'm amazed, okay? I'm actually amazed. Okay. Let's, let's claim this. All right, chat, are you ready? Are you ready for the, the last and best head of them all? Oh, it, it already is so pretty. Look at this. Oh, man. This is a double. Okay, 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 okay. Not only is this gonna get us the head that we need, the last one, but it's also giving us the level 304. Three stars. And look at that chat. Level 304. Wait, you can't see it. Look at that chat. And chat. Damn. Look at that. God damn. Look at that. Level 304. Sheesh. Not bad at all. That was crazy. The chat. We have the, the entire collection of heads. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my god, that was awesome. That might have been one of the most one of the most fun things I've ever done, actually. Max it? We're not gonna max it. But what we can do is we can um we can appreciate the dungeon collections. Where is it? Uh dungeon collection. There we go. Max. Not bad. Ooh, skeleton soldier bestiary. Yeah, look at that. Bestiary level uh, crack. Scout and Grunt! That is our third bestiary level today. Rip the Dreadlord 11. Sheesh. Bestiary level chat. Oh, Zombie Grunt bestiary. Let's go. Oh, that's a bestiary milestone. Uh, 78. Undead Skeleton bestiary. Pog? There it is, chat. Scared Skeleton bestiary. Bestiary level. Lonely Spider 10. Oh, hang zombie, bestiary. 
Eh, uh, there it is, Crypt Lurker Beast Theory. A hundred K Crypt Lurker kills. Eh, uh, there it is, the Sniper Beast Theory. Finally. Hey, yo! Beast Theory level. Chat, Beast Theory 79. Look at that. Not bad. Eh, uh, Zombie Grunt 11. Eh, uh, there it is. That's the last adventure, chat. 10,000 LAs. Look at that. Ooh, not bad. Where the skill skeletons at? Oh, there it is. There it is, chat. I'm not gonna kill another one. Look at this. How hot does this look? 25k kills, number one. Mm. That looks pretty hot, no? Zero deaths. Yeah. As well. That's like the cleanest bestiary. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed my journey across all the dungeon floors today and see you the next time I upload, which with my upload schedule will probably be August 12, 2036. So I'll see you then. Ciao.